Hello guys, every now and then you stumble upon a project which blows your mind away. Fructose is one such project. It is very small, it does very very limited things and it is not something which you would um, found in some flashy website or tools but still in my humble opinion it does one thing and it does it fabulously awesomely. Now what Fructose does, it is an AI powered Python package which converts LLM calls as strongly typed functions. Strongly typed functions is a programming concept that refers to a function that explicitly specifies the types of its parameters and return value leveraging hinting feature introduced in a language like Python. Type hints allow developers to annotate the expected data types of function arguments and the return type aiding in code reliability, maintainability and static type checking using tools like MyPy and there are a lot of things around there. I'm not going to go into that detail. I just want to keep it simple and very, very straightforward. So I think it will be better to show you how Fructose work instead of showing you um, or describing you in detail in Word. So let me take you to my local VS Code environment where the first thing we need to do is to install Fructose. Just simply do pip install Fructose with the pip and then press enter. I already have it so I'm not going to do it again. Once you have installed Fructose, you can start using it in your code. If you look at this code, this is a very simple Python code. As I mentioned, Fructose is a Python package to create a dependable, strongly typed interface around an LLM call. Now what is happening here is that we have first imported this Fructose. We have defined a Fructose object here after instantiating this Fructose. And from there, we, are, we have defined this function describe. Whatever is being passed to this function in this short Pythonic way, it is returning us the string. And then we have put in this decorator, which is changing its behavior, the function's behavior. This is the decorator, which is referring to this object. And this is the changing the behavior of this LLM call. Now, what is happening is that when we calling this function, the descri describe function, with some parameters dog cat parrot goldfish then we are passing it to our llm which will return only one word describing these words so for example i call this describe function with dog cat parrot goldfish and then the result gets stored in description and from there i am printing the description so if i call this i'll just say fructose1.py which is the name of this Press enter. That's it. There you go. So it has correctly described that all of these animals are pets. So, for example, if I just say something like uh, I would say line, and then I will say tiger, jaguar. Leopard, I hope so. My spellings are right. Then call it again. Let's see what it does now. So these are all feline animals. Now, another thing is that which I forgot to tell you, and my apologies, is that before you start using it, you need to set your open AI underscore API underscore key. So which you will need to obtain from platform.openai.com then that's a paid thing so that is what it is using behind the scene that is the llm call it is making now if you would change it to for example you would say maybe goldfish and whale or shark and then maybe let's say i'll just confuse it i'll just say spider Let's see what it does in this case. Aquatic. So all of these are aquatic animals. Now you can just take it another level. For example, again, I'm importing these libraries. I'm defining a person 
class and I'm annotating it with data class which I imported from uh, my fructose from the data classes now what fructose would do in this case it is going to make it more complex data type so in this case for example what is happening is that this is just going through the uh, complex data type in the form of class where we are defining some of the variables of a person that a person has a name hobby dislike and lot of other things and then we are just asking ai with the ai annotator to generate fake person data we are calling this generate fake person and within that we are passing it this person class and then we are printing the person let me clear the screen and let me use the fructose 2 let's wait I'll just make it a bit bigger let's wait for it to come back there you go so it is just um, going through the fake person data its name these are the hobbies dislikes and obscure inclination uh, inclination the prefers writing letter by hand and mailing them to friend how cool is that let's try one more time let's wait for it and this is just an api call so this time the name is jasper hobbies are writing poetry and then dislike our modern tech inclination is obsessed with finding the perfect quill for writing okay you see that um this is just a person for a aspiring author so it has maintained the context but has given us different sort of information every time so this is how fructose work i hope that you enjoyed it and you can use it in any llm calls and make it a strongly typed functions that's it um let me know your thoughts on it and one more thing before i let you go is that their github repo is also full of lot of other nuggets let me quickly scroll down and show you so if you scroll down here this is installation which i uh, did and show you earlier where we are installing the fructose specifying our key and then these are the examples which i have used and then there is one more example where you can even call multiple functions similarly what what i saw you what i show you and then there is few other things around prompting and stuff which is also good but bit i think out of scope now still a project in evolution but i think holds a lot of promise that's it let me know what do you think about it and if you are facing any issues let me know happy to help out and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network on social media or wherever you like as that helps a lot thanks for watching